My name is Joel, and I want to welcome you to Caliph's Country Store, a place like no other in New England, or for that matter, the entire U.S. of A. Caliph's isn't just a store. It's a unique experience that takes you back to a time when customer service wasn't a gimmick, but the way we did things all the time. I say we because I've been working here at Caliph's going on about 46 years now. Let's start our tour by taking a step back in time to the 60s, the 1860s that is. That's what I say in our radio commercials. In 1869, just after the Civil War, Mary Chesley Califf mortgaged her family farm to open a general store in the front room of her house in Barrington, New Hampshire. Califf's big store, as they used to call it, soon became the convenience store of its day, stocking everything from barrels of salt fish and molasses brought in by oxen cart from neighboring towns and even penny candy and penny nails. Why, in the 1930s, Califf's even sold Ford Model A automobiles. Five generations of Califf's have helped make Califf's Country Store a favorite spot for our neighbors, as well as folks from all across the country. Welcome to Califf's Country Store today. A lot has changed, then again, a lot hasn't. The pickle barrels are still on the floor, same with the penny candy, ginger snaps, molasses we still pump fresh from the barrel, maple syrup, famous snappy old cheese, and of course chit chat with the customers. I'll tell you more about snappy cheese in a minute. Besides the usual standbys, visitors today can find some new fangle things they call gourmet specialty foods, like crackers, chocolates, bread mixes, spreads, and you know, gifty things. And of course, Califf's is also famous for our own brands. We always have been, of locally made jams, jellies, maple syrups, pancake mixes, soup mixes, and much, much more. One of Califf's longtime favorites, of course, is our snappy old cheese. We sell tons of it, really we do, and to folks all across America. You may ask yourself, where did that name come from? Well, the story goes back to the 1890s when Mary's son, Austin Califf, who later became state senator, was running the store. A couple of fishermen came in and asked him for the strongest cheese he had. Austin went down cellar and found a couple of pieces of cheddar that had been lost behind the wheels being aged. Austin served some of the cheese to those fishermen who instantly declared, that's snappy, makes a man set up and take notice. We've called our aged cheddar snappy old cheese ever since. And speaking of Senator Austin Califf these days, you'll see all sorts of senators stopping by Califf's and pressing the flesh for votes during our famous New Hampshire primaries. No visit to Califf's country store would be complete without a visit next door to Califf's gift shop as well as our other fine neighbors. Phew, if I didn't know better, sometimes I feel some of the old Califf family members have never left the store. Where does Califf's go from here? Well, with more than 150,000 customers a year passing through our doors, and thousands of online and mail order customers, mean Califf's is as popular as ever. I think we could squeeze a lot more in myself, so I guess the sky's the limit.